I know it by heart because that's like I said, that's the church anthem. Everybody will start making dances with it. Give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together. Everybody don't know what you're being given to you. What's all that making all excited? Speaking in tongues. For years I was saying it. I was feeling good. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, yeah, yeah, give it a shove, be giving you, woo hoo. And I started thinking one day, I started thinking one day, last week to be specific, and I was like, God, when do we take money? Good measure sounds good, but when they make money, do they steam press it? Do they shake it so it can dry out? And do they run over with the car or something? I don't understand. So I started doing research on how money is made. And you know, no, it wasn't doing any of that. What's up, Chosen Nation? I'm back with another video, all right? And today, the subject of today's video is read your Bible and stay woke, all right? Now, I know technology has improved nowadays. You know, we got um, should we got iPhones, iPads, the Bible app, you know what I'm saying? So there's no excuse not to read your Bible. They got so many versions, so if you can't understand the King James Version, you can get with that Amplified Version, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, the reason why I came up with the title of this video is because I was, you know, going through my Bible notes and everything, and I was like, man, I gotta, I think I told y'all in like a couple previous videos that I gotta do better in reading my Bible. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping it real with you guys, you know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all to think that I'm holier than anyone else out here. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I love God. My heart is for God. But I'm always, God is always working on me um, and bettering myself. And one of the things that I'm not good at is, is actually reading my Bible. You know what I'm saying? I keep reading these success books, which is good. You know, reading a success book is, is actually um, opening my mind. But uh, if I can be honest, those books originated from the Word of God. If you don't believe me, start start reading the success. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Riches Man in Babylon, all that, all those principles, everything you need is in that Bible. It's probably one of the greatest books of all time. So I started reading um, this famous scripture that everybody reads when the offering bucket comes out. You know, you got everybody from the deacon to the pastor to the usher, every, their head, the whole church get hyped. You know what I'm saying? People fall out seven, eight times, run around seven times. And if you don't look excited when giving time comes up, you look, you look, you look like you a secret agent or something. You, you gotta get, if you're a Christian, you gotta get happy when it comes to giving. And one of the main scriptures, it's, it's the church anthem. Uh, it's Luke 6, 38, all right? Give. What's the, the scripture that says give? So I found it. It's Luke 638. Alright? I'm reading it in the Amplified because if I read it in King James, a lot of y'all gonna be like, what? So it says, give and it will be given to you. They will pour into your lap a good measure. I'ma just say it the way I know how. Give and it shall be given to you. Good measure. Press down. Shake it to Together and run it over, show man give it to your bosom. All right, I know it by heart because that's like I said, that's the church anthem. Everybody will start making dances with it. Give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together. Everybody don't know what you're being given to you. What's all that making all excited? Speaking in tongues. For years I was saying it. I was feeling good. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, yeah, yeah, give me the shell, be giving you, woo hoo. And I started thinking one day, I started thinking one day, last week to be specific, and I was like, God, when do we take money? Good measure sounds good, but when they make money, do they steam press it? Do they shake it so it can dry out? And do they run over with the car or something? I don't understand. So I started doing research on how money is made. And you know, no, it wasn't doing any of that. So I was just like, okay, God, I need some revelation. 
So I kept focusing on the scripture. Give and it shall be given. Press down, shaking together. I said, what does it mean? I don't understand. Then I went to the Amplified Version. And I started reading a couple verses before that. When he was telling uh, people to judge not your brother and judge not that person. Don't, don't judge without looking at your own self in the mirror. Don't judge people. And I realized that leading up to the scriptures, he was actually not even talking about money. Give doesn't necessarily mean money. People have made it seem like it means money, but it doesn't mean money. You know what I'm saying? He was actually talking about loving your neighbor, loving other people. He's all about love. And I keep going back to, I keep telling y'all about love. Everyone wants to skip over love. And don't get me wrong, this is not to bash giving. I will always be a tither, all right? Um, so this is not to bash giving. This is just to wake people up, okay? Y'all need to wake up and read your Bible. So don't blame, stop going off of what the man of God says or what a woman to thank God for them, but read your own Bible, okay? That way you can know what's going on, all right? When somebody prophesied to you and you, read your Bible and see if it match up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta think for yourself, man. I realized a long time ago that church, I kept looking for church to be church. I know, I, I know that sounds weird. I was let down many of times and I realized I can't blame other people for what, you know what I'm saying? God gave me a brain. God gave you a brain. It's your hugest asset. Use it. Ask God for revelation. You know what I'm saying? I realized that church is actually me. I mean, within myself, I'm the church. You know what I'm saying? I, the, the reason why I'm here today, the reason why I'm so blessed is because I, I realized a long time ago um, that I had to develop a relationship with God for myself. And I also have to read the word of God for myself. So... I'm taking a break from reading these other books, and I'm gonna actually take some time to study the Word of God. Um, I thought I knew it, but it, not as not as good as I. Yeah, I was. I'm not gonna lie. I was. <laughs> I was so upset. I was like, all this time, y'all tricked me. I feel so bad, but it's not nobody's fault but mine. It's not nobody. I gotta take responsibility, right? Because I gotta read it for myself. So stay woke. Read your Bible and stay woke. All right, so if anybody tell you that scripture is about money, it's not. There is nowhere in that scripture, given it shall be given. I don't care how many times they hold them, shake and shout and fall out. It is not about money, all right? Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's going to lead. I'm not saying don't give to your church. I'm saying this scripture is not specifically about money. However, if you're walking in love, you know what I'm saying? You should be giving because your heart is where your treasure is, right? But that's a whole nother subject for another day. Giving is not about what your pastor drives, what house, what jets they, jets they have and all that. It's not about that. It's about your heart, right? And I said this before, that when you give, you're open. You've made room to receive more from God and now he can trust you. But he's always looking for somebody who he can trust. Because when he gives you all that money, it's not going to be just for you. It's going to be to help everybody else out to do his work. It's not about your book. It's always about him. Remember that. All right? So read your Bible and stay woke. But I'm going to say, you know, to all you Pentecostal churches out there, I'm just so... Y'all didn't have to trick me like this. You know what I'm saying? I still want to gain. Y'all didn't have to trick me like this. I still want to gain. So I'm going to have to forgive you because I'm a Christian. And I'm walking in love. I'm walking in love. Luke 638, y'all. It's here. Read it. Amplify it. Study it. Read it. It's not about money. All right? It's about love. Love other people. All right? Be blessed. Stay woke. Best. Peculiar chosen for such a time as this This is clapback season, no time to reminisce So welcome to the show, it's about to be lit Denzel with the flick, Cardi B with the hit Steph Curry with the wrist, Eminem with the diss Mike Tyson with the fist, R. Kelly with the piss I don't need to carry a piece to keep the peace I pray for my enemies and then he gives me peace See I believe in Jesus, so I got Jesus peace I'm the MVP, sitting VIP And I know some haters won't be mad at me But if I speak to the storm, then it has to cease If I rebuke the devil